So now let's talk about what happens when we're in a dimension and either a heart token is on position three, as in we've gone through the third gate, or an ice block has been elevated to the point of position three, in which case that dimension is frozen. So if a heart is gets to the third position, we say that that dimension has opened. And for the rest of the game that you're playing today, that dimension can no longer be closed. So even if there's consequences either through the space lemon cards or through conflict, if you're playing in that dimension, it cannot be unfrozen. If we are in a scenario where the disharmony yuga has prevailed and an ice block has been promoted to the third position, we say that that dimension has been closed. It is frozen shut. For the rest of the game, we're not able to unfreeze or thaw the hearts and minds of the people in, in that area of the cosmos. Now, as members of the Cosmic Peace Force, you, it's kind of up to you to decide how you want to handle that. There's some emergent rules and emergent behaviors that we wholeheartedly encourage all of you to experiment with. For example, we've seen some play groups who decide that once a dimension is either fully open or fully closed, they may no longer play in that dimension. So as they're moving their pieces around the board, they may skip over that dimension. It can make the game go quicker if you decide to do that. Other groups have decided that those dimensions are still in play. And as your, your peace force is traveling through them, you'll still do what the token markers suggest with the realization that there may be penalties or successes or consequences that happen, but they may be impacting other aspects of the board and not the dimension that you're in please feel free to experiment with these and let us know which ones you think work best for you and your Cosmic Peace Force team members. There's some question about the nonviolence wisdom cards. They're pink. Yes. Uh, you should have one. And these are a special card. They are there to help inspire nonviolent dynamics. They're also available to us because in future iterations of the game, they could unlock new game dynamics. So they're there as a sign that there's a future of the game. So within the game design of any game, there's always going to be tension and conflict across team members can arrive. We've included the wisdom cards as a way for people to internally center themselves to have a deeper understanding of the forces that are in motion. So for example, one of the strategies on the wisdom card reads, when you succeed, do not try to work in a new issue or yield to the temptation to triumph over your former opponents. Remember, the goal is not to win, but to rebuild relationships. And I find when I read these, these strategies, it really does help me recenter within myself and to see the larger picture and to better understand the dynamics of my teammates. Thank you, everyone. Please write us with any questions that you may have.